Luck. Sheer luck. Don't you ever get tired of losing to me, Jakey boy? I thought for sure I was gonna beat you that time. Think again. <laughs> Daily Crown newspaper? Hey, Jacob! Are you up for some? Say again, Buford! Say again! Hey, I'm not done beating you at checkers yet! I can't hear you! I can't hear you! You want me to make your moves for you, Jacob? Fine, whatever you say! What did you say? I said... Pick up your copy of the Daily Crowd today, Montreal's newest daily newspaper. Take it from the king, Carl Vester King. Don't get down, hurry, Sean Brown. Go to town with the Daily Crown. There's something you don't see every day. Hmm. Take it from the king. Call best the king. Don't get down, hurry, Sean Brown. Go to town with the Daily Crown. <laughs> Your Majesty, call best the king. Here by decrees. Don't forget to order your subscription to the Daily Crown! Let's check it out. If they're hyping this newspaper so much, it must be pretty good. Uh -uh. Awful. Ugh. Hmm. This paper is garbage. There's hardly any news. It's jam-packed with ads, and the writing is terrible. Listen. The new bylaws ain't done the city no good no how. The comics are bad too. Not one of them was funny, and I know funny. <laughs> like dogs wearing hats. That always makes me laugh. <laughs> this paper isn't good for anything. That's not entirely true. I mean, who would read that sorry excuse for a newspaper? <gasps> Dad? Dad? Hmm? Oh, hi, Jake. Buford? You're reading the Daily Crown? Indubitably. Indubitably? It means without a doubt. I just got my subscription today. My dad, the language expert, is reading that shoddy paper? I don't get it. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> ah! Zut! Hi, Renee! You deliver the Daily Crown? Yeah? And what does that have to do with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Bye, Renee. Dad? Mom? May I take your plates? May I take your plates? Don't you want your dinner, Dad? It's your favorite. Hmm. What? Huh? <gasps> Is dinner over already? That wasn't very filling, was it? Oh, I must remember to make more food next time.
third shipment of newspapers today. Who does Carl Fester King think he is? Disturbing everyone when they're trying to sleep. Can't you see I'm videotaping myself in digital surround sound while I paint my art project? I can't sleep, and I was wondering, can I please use your computer to do a search on Carl Fester King? Let you use my computer? As if. You can stand there all night if you want. I don't care. Fine. Here you go. No, not that one. That's just a DC site. I want to get the dirt on Carl Fester King. There, that one. You can look at the screen, but don't touch anything. Don't sneeze, don't scratch, don't twitch, don't fidget, don't breathe. You have 30 seconds. Carl Fester King, former door-to-door -door salesman. He sold vacuum cleaners that didn't work, useless kitchen gadgets, and other items nobody really needed. Until he inherited a newspaper press and started putting out the Daily Crown. So how did a failed salesman with an awful newspaper manage to snag the highest readership rate in the city practically overnight? Don't know, don't care, time's up, get out. Whoa! Thank you, thank you. Those daily crown trucks kept me up all night. Me too. Even earplugs didn't help. I was going to try pudding, but my dad says I shouldn't be putting food in my ears anymore. <laughs> There's something very suspicious about that newspaper. I believe this is a job for ex-Barnaby Dinglebat, Master Spy. <gasps> this is terrible. Every adult we know turns into a zombie when they read that paper. This must be happening all over Montreal. On our own, Buford. It's up to us to find out what's going on. The Daily Crown headquarters is bigger than I thought. Cool. Please state identity. Identity not verified. Oh. Security clearance refused. State your business. Nice doggy. We're here for a tour of the Daily Crown. There are no tours of the Daily Crown. The only people allowed in are employees. Capiche? Capiche. Je refuse. I just got this job. And I won't risk losing it just because you think something weird is going on. If you want to snoop around the Daily Crown, do it yourselves. But we already told you. We can't because... We're not paper boys. <laughs> but we could be. I thought we were going to go snooping. We've got our security cards. We have to do at least one day's worth of deliveries so they won't be suspicious. <gasps> I just wish we had a room with less stairs. people recycle in your neighborhood. Hey, these are all from products advertised in the Daily Crown. 
It's Carl Fester King's personal line of junk, and everyone's buying it. Even Mr. Dingleback and your parents. The full 130 volumes of King encyclopedias? But my dad already has more books than most libraries. Sheesh, if folks keep buying Daily Crown stuff at this rate, they'll be broke in no time. <gasps> if my folks keep this up, we'll be broke by tomorrow morning. A minute. Who are they? Identity not verified. Security clearance refused. Security gave me the brush off, O'Toole. We'll just have to find some other way to get inside, my good Shapiro. What are you kids doing <gasps> here? We, 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 we were just leaving, uh, sir. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Beat it, Jacob. Kid Power's on a top secret mission. So are we. What's your mission? If you must know, we're trying to return this. The checkers are supposed to jump themselves. But they jump all over the place instead of where you want them to go. The game is useless. It's a travesty. We demand justice. justice. It's not just this game. All the Daily Crown stuff is junk, but everyone's buying it. Please state identity. You can't get past those gates. We already tried. Identity check approved. You were saying? What do you think you're doing here? Ma'am, I'd like to lodge a complaint about this subpar checker set. Oh, yeah? What's wrong with it? Let me show you, my good woman. Another round of crappy King products will go flying off the shelves. What's with the outfit? Carl Fester King, soon to be mega billionaire and undisputed King of the World! <laughs> We've got to stop him. Note to self, underline King of the World. Brilliant. Intruders! Come on, boy. Get the ball. <laughs> My beautiful printing press!
It's the ink for the paper. It's the ink for the paper. No, it's the ink that's doing it. It's special ink. Ink that can... Brainwash readers, yes. Very perceptive. But do you know how it works? Yeah. The ink gets on their thumbs, then on their tongues when they lick their thumbs, and travels all the way into their brains. That's how I can subliminally convince the fools to buy my products. I rule them all. <laughs> just because you sell everyone junk doesn't mean you rule them. And just because your name is King doesn't mean you are one. I am too. I don't think real kings ride golf carts. I am a king, I am a king, I am a king. You know, if you need more proof, how about a visit to my dark, dingy dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> Security! Security! This game doesn't work at all. I am shocked and appalled. Crusher! Crusher! Where is that dog? What are you doing here? My parents were behaving très bizarre, and I figured that maybe you were right for once. Gee, thanks. Keep him busy. I think I know how to expose that guy with his own lousy newspaper. I'll meet you at the front gate. Wow! Let's see. First, we stop the presses. Cool. Woohoo! This is fun! Now, to change the ink from brainwashing green to regular black. Oops. Sorry. Change tomorrow's headline. Widen all doorways in the kingdom. game is a big rip-off. Out of my way! I demand that you stop! Note to self. Shorten case. <laughs> King is a phony. King is a phony. A double headline. <laughs> Sounds like something Jacob would say. Sending the King stuff back? Yes, honey. I have no idea why we bought it in the first place. I don't know why I subscribe to that awful paper either. I should cancel it. Indubitably. The Daily Dose. Now this is a newspaper. I asked for a route with you, Estes. Don't they know I'm the king? Hey! Hi, I'm here to show you some magic tricks you can do with a simple newspaper and a pair of scissors. Prepare to be amazed. You're not cutting up the hockey scores, are you? No, Dad. I bet I can walk right through this sheet of paper. Fold the paper in half, then cut a strip from the folded edge, but not right to the ends, like this. 
Cut from the folded edge at the end of the cut you just made. Then make your other cuts like this. Practice by yourself before doing it in front of people to make sure you're doing it right. Ta-da! It's simply astonishing, folks. How does he do it? Well, I guess he just showed you how, so you know how he did it, actually. See ya! Oh, 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 oh.